Okay, okay. Are you guys even seeing this? Don't you? Oh my! No, 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 no! Oh no! Please! Ah! 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 Uh -huh. Hi guys. So today I've already pretty much opened this box because there were a lot of my details on the lid over here. Okay. So that is not for you guys to see. What is for you guys to see is in this container. I mean, in this styrofoam box and the containers inside. Okay, anyways, we have got... Ooh, what on earth is this? It is squishy. It is squishy. What is this? Squishiness. Hmm. Oh, we've got an ice pack, which is... Oh, hey, you're not supposed to come in, Zena. Please go out. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, here we have a tarantula. <laughs> and this one is also another tarantula. I'm gonna leave this at the side. Now, over here, CV. No, this is not the CV that when you want to apply for a job, you give them a CV. No. And this is a HP. No, it is not the computer brand. Pause this video. Comment down below what species you think this one is and what this one is. Because, yeah, I mean, just... For the sake of it, just just comment down below. Yeah. Anyways, let's open these. Actually, no. Actually, no. I will go and prepare the enclosures for these two. And then we will be back to rehouse them. Okay, so in one of those containers, we have a confirmed female baboon species. That's the little clue for you guys to comment down below what you think HP is. And we're going to be rehousing her into this enclosure. Now, in this enclosure, we currently have a matured male OBT, which I will be sending over to my friend very very soon so i will rehouse this obt into a temporary setup that way i can use this for a confirmed female so i'm going to be rehousing him temporarily into this because i'm i mean i'm going to be sending him over to my friend's female anyway so might as well just move him now that way i can use this enclosure where's the container okay over here oh my you freaking obts man whoa oh my gosh Okay, okay. Are you guys even seeing this? That's cr cr stop, stop! My gosh, dude, are you freaking like? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Calm your freaking! <laughs> oh man, sorry, sorry. Oh my! Look at that. Now that right there is what you call an OBT. Can you please, please? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Don't you? Oh my! No! 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 no. Oh no! Freaking hell! Bruh! Please! Ah! He almost went onto my. Stop! There we go. There we go. He almost went into my leg. I mean, not into, but onto my leg. That would not be good. Oh man! OBT. Seriously, man. You guys gotta chill the freak out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Man, these guys are so fast. So fast and so defensive. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Stop. Just stop. Okay. Okay. How am I even gonna? All right. Go down. There we go. There we go. Okay, so put him in. Okay, maybe later I'll even just send him over to my friend. All right, now I'm gonna be cleaning this out because there's a lot of his web, and I will put. Oh my gosh, mess! I will put fresh new substrate for the new female tarantula. Okay, so I've washed the enclosure. Now I'm gonna prepare the substrate. I'm actually trying this out. So this is some um, some organic soil. So I've mixed it up with the usual organic soil mix together with coconut fiber. I want to test this soil out. I think this should be good for them. Yeah, very, very fine. We'll see. We'll see. I now and got some leaf litter. And now I'm going to be pouring some boiling water to kill off any stuff that are in here that could potentially harm the tarantula. Just pour, oh my god, that's, I don't think that was a good idea. The plastic is like, oh my gosh, the plastic is melting. 
Yeah, I don't think that was a very good idea, but oh well. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? But yeah, anyways, as you can see, a random roach came out from the hot water. So there we go. That is why I pour hot water to kill any bad stuff that are in it. Just give it a nice stir and then we should be able to use, I mean we will be able to use this leaf, lit, leaf litter. Now to drain out everything. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Super, super hot. I mean, it could melt plastic. Look at that. There we go. Ah, hot. There we go. Nice. Give it a quick rinse with some cold water. All right, so now we can put in the leaves. So for this enclosure will be for the HP. And if you guys have not guessed what species it is, yes, it is the Harpoptera pulchropes. And let me show you what I've done to the enclosure. So basically I've used some bark to make a deep, deep, deep burrow. Like my full finger can't even go through. And then we have got some moss over here, some dried leaves, some twigs, and that is basically it. I'll put the water dish over here. And yeah, let's see how big she actually is. Because the seller actually sent me this picture and she looked to be very, very defensive. So let's see. Okay, I can see. Oh, she is beautiful. Like drop dead gorgeous. Look at that. I shouldn't even be using my bare hands for this. Where are you, girl? Oh, yeah. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. And I think this enclosure will be perfect for her. See the burrow? We can't even see the end of it. It's like super deep in. Don't bolt, girl. Don't you dare bolt. Okay, there we go. So this enclosure appears to be a little bit too big for her. But it's okay. But it's okay. Go on, go. Oh, yeah. Look at her. There you go. Go, go into, the, into the burrow, maybe? No? It's okay. She'll find her way. Oh yeah, look at that. Very, very beautiful tarantula. <laughs> One of my favorite species. I always say that. Oh my gosh, she, she wants to come out. She wants to come out. The beautiful looking tarantula. And now it is time for that one. So for the next tarantula, C V, C, C -V. <laughs> I'll be rehousing her into this acrylic enclosure over here. Now she's only about two inches, so yeah. This enclosure is going to be super big for her, but she will grow into it. I'm just going to straight away put her into her permanent enclosure. But don't worry, I'm going to be putting clutter for her. That way she will not feel stressed. Okay, so this is the enclosure that I've prepared for her. And if you guys haven't guessed it, yes, it is the Caribena Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. Let me show you inside. We have two barks over here leaning against each other. There's one curved over here where they like to go at the bottom there, make their webs and hide there. We've got a nice little plant over here. And then the substrate is the same substrate as the Harpoptera pulchropes. Got some moss, some dried leaves, some little bit of stones just to make it look more naturalistic. We can turn, always turn over here, shine the light down, and we can see the tarantula if she is in there. As you can see, there's two places for her to hide, one at the back over there and one over here. So let's get her in. I cannot wait to see how she looks like because, oh, I can see her legs already. The pink little toes. So there she is. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Look at that abdomen. The red on the abdomen, the blue head. It's just a perfect combination of colors. Let's get her in. I actually think this enclosure is a very, very nice size for her. Not too big, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit big, but not too big. I expected her to be a little bit smaller than this. I think she should do well in this enclosure. No, I'm not afraid of this tarantula because they are generally pretty. Do you? Ooh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Come on, girl. Go to your new enclosure. Yes, let's freaking go. Whoa. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. She actually came out to say hi to us. Oh my 
yeah and over there this corner over here will be where i put the water dish now these guys a lot of people like glue the bottle cap or something at the side but i'll just put the glass one at the bottom it'll be fine oh my gosh look at her it's been so long since i've got a caribbean versi color if you guys remember i had one that died in mature male yeah unfortunate but i finally got a matured female well, not mature but a confirmed female i mean that's what the guy said hopefully he is not lying <laughs> but yeah that is awesome you can see the ventral looks female to me so oh, the purples that is awesome so yeah guys that will be it for today's video just wanted to show you guys our two new additions two absolutely gorgeous like they're such a contrast of tarantulas this one is arboreal that one is terrestrial this one is a pink toe that one is a baboon so they're pretty much like the total opposites of each other two absolutely gorgeous tarantulas opposites of each other pretty cool huh so anyways guys i'll see you in the next video take care stay safe have a good one peace